The king's turn is back. Last time we checked in on our heroes, they finished with 39 wins and contended for a playoff spot for most of the season. I love However, I love Oregon. that didn't stop King's GM, Vladi Divac, on the same day he got a four-year extension from firing his head coach, Dave Yeager, ah. today. The tension this season between Yeager and the King's front office has been apparent for months. Here's Vladi's statement from today. Quote, after evaluating the season, I determined that we need to move in a different direction in order to take us to the next level. On behalf of the entire Kings organization, I want to thank Dave for his contributions to our team, and we wish him all the best. Stan, as they wished him well in his future endeavors, <laughs> did the Kings make a mistake here? Well, something's going on beyond what we saw on the court because the product on the court was good. Those young players competed very well in a tough Western Conference. Something else is going on. Brandon Williams, an assistant VP, all, or uh, assistant GM, also got fired. There's something going on there that we don't know about in full right now. Our insider should be able to tell us what's going no, don't, on. Don't look at me. I'll tell you what's <laughs> going on. It's Sacramento. There you it's go. A, that just answers what's everything. What's the line from The Godfather 3? Every yeah. time I think I'm out, they suck me back in. Pull me back they in. Pull me back yes. in. That's, look, this is, this is what dysfunctional organizations do. Mm -hmm. They make decisions that are, are, are puzzling. They, have, uh, they can't manage their structure from within. We'll talk about a couple of those today, by the way. Right. Just in Sacramento. For sure. But the idea is this man had the, the best season that they've had since Rick Adelman was yes. coach, right? Since yes. Jeff Petrie was the GM. And... You're going to kick him to the door. It reminds me a little bit of what happened to Mike Malone. Right. Mike Malone was the first one who had him moving in, a, in the right direction. direction. Had Boogie and, going in the yeah. right direction. And then they, they kicked him out the door. And so until Sacramento gets a hold of what organizational structure is, th this is always going to be churned. It's going to keep going. Well, I, I think, look, a house divided can't stand, right? And, and, and the, it just won't work. And so when you look at this team, like you said, something's going on. And we've seen it around multiple organizations. You're seeing, hearing firings. You're seeing presidents step down. You're hearing GMs <laughs> changes. You're in coaching changes. And look, if he just signed a four-year extension, that means whoever he signed is going to get a four-year deal. And then they're going to have he's going to have his coach, and they're going to move in the same direction with a young, quality team. Is it the right move? I say it's the right move only because as a GM, you need to have your guy there. Well, let me follow up with that. You, because you did not hire that guy? Yeah, hold on. He wasn't his guy. Oh, you can, date, I mean, you can date a girl and realize you don't want to marry her. <laughs> let me ask you this, because I don't know Dave Yeager. I, I think I've never met Dave Yeager. I don't know Dave Yeager. But didn't this same kind of thing happen to him in Memphis, too? Like, at some point, do you start to wonder maybe it's him not being able to get along with the front office, like RJ kind of mentioned? Memphis was a different situation. There was a lot of different things. There was the ownership switch. There was, And then there was also, if you remember, before Flip Saunders uh, to Minnesota, away, the Minnesota, Minnesota job. Minnesota was supposed right. to be where, where Jaeger was trying to angle to go. So right. there was a lot more going on. This was a case of, we heard at the beginning of the year. It started at the beginning of the year with, uh, Brandon Williams being kicked out of practice by Coach Yeager and all that acrimony starting there. So, Coach is right. There's more to this story that we don't know yet, but overall, I don't care what the details are. What is it about Sacramento? Why can't you ever get it right, even when it seemed like you finally got it right? And, and there, there's no question. This is structural. There's something going on on the inside because, again, on the floor, the product was good. Yeah. This team is getting better, and you would think they'd be really happy.